Hi everyone. Well, I'm back uh, the next day and uh, hopefully I can get through this video without more glitches. Uh, the deck that I showed yesterday that I opened, uh, I just opened it and I thought I was taping and I wasn't taping. I don't know why. I, I, well, actually I was taping. I had the intro and then I was going to move the camera, but I wasn't happy with the camera position. So I thought I'll start all over and I forgot that I made the intro. Senior moment. So anyway, I'm back, and so I took the cellophane off, and uh, here's the lovely box. And what I thought was a coin on there, underneath the cellophane, isn't a coin. It's just a piece, it's a, it's a piece of plastic, and it's sort of looking like it's a wax stamp, you know, uh, that people used to have. But it's a beautiful box. It's a gorgeous box. It's very sturdy. And there's room in here for maybe a you know a baby crystal or two. There's actually space in there for a baby crystal or two. Uh, there isn't any kind of a booklet with this at all. So I do have a book that I got for the other Sibylla, the Zangar or something. I think I'm going to do a, a side by side of those for a couple of days, compare the two of them. But today we're going to do this one. Now, this may be the earlier version because it says here, Sibylla Originale, circa 1850. And this is the, it says, there's a numeric two, Menegello Edizioni. So that's, I guess, the edition from Milano, Italy. And that's all it says on the box other than that name. And then there's a little, little blurb here. And the, the blurb is very, uh, <laughs> What's the word I'm looking for? It portends of what I found when I opened the, the deck, okay? It said, this item is created by hand. Any imperfections or variations are due to its workmanship and are not to be considered as defects. So, uh, imperfections are not defects? Okay, I guess that's the way they do it in Italy, right? But when I started to look at the cards, I, I'll show you what I'm talking about here. If you look at the edging here, and I'll bounce them down so I'm not, you know, seeing. But look, this one card here is like coming apart, this top one. And then on the edges here, you can see there's a lot of like bending in there. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens when I start looking at individual cards. But uh, maybe it'll write itself, but I don't think so. Some of these definitely are imperfect. But let's just say they're perfect in their imperfection, if there is such a thing, right? That's the irony of it all. It's, they're perfect in their imperfection. So I'm going to change the camera angle and see if I can get you a close-up. And I'll just open the cards and you'll just be looking at the cards instead of having to deal with looking at me. So hold on, I'll be right back. So I hope that the camera is getting this. It, I'm certainly getting it close up, but in the camera it's looking like it's sort of squished. So, this here is uh, La Conversione. I think it's about the conversation. So, I'm sure we can figure out what some of these are without knowing Italian. Uh, the cards, as you see, have a very nice backing, very simple backing. There we go. There we go. Okay. And number two is Casa, which I know to be house. So, we have Casa. And number three, again, this is very bent at the corner. I hope they straighten themselves out here. Number three is Belvedere, or Belvedere, I don't know. But uh, two of the corners are very bent on this one card here. So I don't know what kind of machine they had them in, but they messed them up terribly. Uh, anyway, it's a woman on lookout, so she's maybe waiting for somebody. The cards have a nice stock. It's not too thin, not too thick. It's matte finish. But uh, let me put them together here. Uh, number four, I can figure that one out. Amore, that's love, right? Very sweet. And I have no idea what this one means. It says, Alla Gresa al. Cuore, cuore. But obviously they're dancing and very happy. 
I'm going to have to get online and look at the dictionary online to see what any words are. Maybe mark it down on some cards. Okay, now here's another one. Boy, these corners are a mess. I wonder if other people's cards are just as bad. Okay, this one's denare, and I guess that means money, so maybe that's a bank. Isn't denare maybe money? I don't know. Number seven, and these have these have the suits, like these are the hearts, and this is six of hearts, we have seven of hearts here. Next one is letterato, which I guess is a man writing a letter. And this is speranza, is number eight. So yeah, I will definitely have to take out that other book. And then we have here, La the Delta, number nine. Well, I guess it's the loyal dog, right? The loyal dog. And then we have La Costanza. I have no idea what that means, and there's no book, so I'll have to look at it. When I do the side-by-side -side with the other deck, um, the other version has, a, uh, has an English word on it. Here's La Monte. It's a fellow playing a lute, I guess. Or maybe it just means a man, because then there's a, there's another Lamante here with a woman. So maybe, I don't know, maybe they're a couple. Who knows? Okay, Gran Signore. Okay, well, it's a grand man of substance, I suppose. And then we have here Imenio. I don't know, it's fire, I'm not so good if that's the warmth, if that fire means the passion of love with the hand or whether it's foreboding something else. Let's see now. Oh, here we have a peacock and it says La Superbia. So I think that's sort of superb, wonderful, maybe. And let's see, we have now another club here. This is the three of clubs coming, Viaggio. I don't know what that is, but... We will we will discover these when we find a book. Uh, la la mica. I get. I think that maybe means friend. Uh, fortuna. With the cornucopia, I, I'm guessing that may mean uh, abundance. And then you have consolante sorpresa. It's a fellow here with what looks like a netting and he's dragging something and I have no idea what he's dragging but we will we will find out eventually and then we have here the Gran Consolazione and uh, he seems to be having dreams of uh, abundance because it looks like there's a piece of jewelry there it looks like a crown which would maybe indicate maybe becoming the leader of Rome maybe and then there's, looks like a bag with a thousand lira in it, maybe. So obviously he's having dreams of abundance. And now we have number eight is the La Reunion. So I guess it's the get-together, either making up or it's a reunion. And then here is uh, number nine, La, uh, mm, La Allegri. <laughs> I'm butchering this language. La La Alegria, Alegria. Well, I don't know what that means. Are they agreeing? Is that what that is? Who knows? And then we have this beautiful moth or butterfly, La Legia Oh, man. I have to watch an Italian video of this deck so I can, maybe I can hear how these are pronounced. There has to be an Italian video on YouTube, right? Uh, Domestico. Okay, so I guess this is, is that a husband? Is that a domestic servant? Who knows? Now we have number 12, we have Giovanni Fanchiula, Fanchiula, Fanchiula. Okay, it's a lady, obviously. Uh, Dottore, well, that's obvious, that's a doctor. This piacere. I don't know, did she lose something, Diasperi? Does that mean she displaced something? All will be revealed eventually. I'm not sure I like these these mat cards. I usually like mat cards, but these are very dry. 
I'm not sure I'm that thrilled with the surface on them. We have here La Vecchia Signora. And we are now obviously in the spades. And then we have here some of two Vedovo. Obviously, he's out of cemetery. So that doesn't portent of good things. And then we have Amalato. Somebody may be ill. They're in bed. Or maybe it's just the weekend and they're sleeping in. Uh oh, no, I think he was sick because the next card is Morte. Death. It's a death card. Morte. And I can't pronounce this, but Sus. With my bad eyes now, I don't know if that's an I, I E I or I R. I think it's an I E I. Sospia, I don't know. As soon as I get over this, I'm going to go look for an Italian flip up through of this deck. The next one is Disgrazia. Well, I figure that one out. That's disgrace. Let me see. How come I got these so far away? I started with them in the right place. This is obviously disgrace. It looks like the equivalent of a tower card, Disgrazia. Uh-oh, we're in the real bad stuff right now. <laughs> this is where a lot of the, the feces is hitting the fan on these cards. Uh, the spades are not happy. Happy. Here we have Disperato per Gelosia. This man looks like he's committing suicide here. So he was desperate, now he's killing himself. Uh-oh, now it gets worse. Prisione, that's prison. And there he is chained in prison. Uh oh. And so it's Militare next. Oh, maybe he they let him join the military, join the French Legion. <laughs> I don't know. Oh Lord. Uh this is Nemico. It looks like someone's stealing away with something and he's got a snake. He's holding a snake. So that's gonna be interesting to see what the book says about that. And then there's a woman, La Nemica. So Nemico and Nemica. Are they a bad pair? We shall find out. Let's see, 13 of spades is sacerdote. Dote. I don't know. Look, I, I don't know whether it's a guy or a woman. I don't know. It'll be interesting comparing the two decks. Hopefully by then I can find a better setup to, to show them. Okay, now we have the diamonds. Hopefully things are improving in the emotion department. We have Stanza, and uh, we have the drapery and uh, a chair, and it looks like someone's going to be writing because it looks like a t writing table there, and a, a picture leaning from the wall. La Lettera, I guess somebody's going to receive a letter. And the next one is uh, a present. Now this is interesting because that's the two of diamonds and the three of diamonds, uh, they don't have the diamond symbol on the card. I guess they couldn't put it where they normally would because it would get lost in the red curtain there. But this is Presente di Pietra Preziose. Obviously, presents are arriving. Uh-oh. We have number four, Falsita. They're maligning the poor kitty. I mean, don't they like kitties? They had the doggy as your friend, and now they're maligning the poor kitty. Okay, now number five, we have Malinconia. I guess it's melan Melancholy. This is a sad lady. Well, it would be easy to read with these cards if if the words on them are uh, what they really meant when the cards were made. You know, there may be double meanings, but the book will reveal that. And here we have an ill pensiero, so I think maybe this is an older person, a pensioner, somebody who's retired. And then we have the seven of diamonds, and the bambino, which is a baby. And next we have la donna di servizio, I guess it's a female servant, a maid maybe. And number nine we have uh, delirante. It looks like three guys who have been having a very nice time at the local pub, drinking the vino. Uh, Eladro, 
I believe that's a thief sneaking in. And then number 11 of diamonds is a messenger. And 12 is Donna Maritata. I, I don't know. Well, maybe it's just the married woman, Maritata. And then number 13 is Mercante, the, a merchant. So, all in all, I think the box, to me, is better than the cards. Uh, because the cards, first of all, they're very flawed in terms of the quality of the cards, uh, with really being damaged, and it looks like they got chewed up in a machine, and the mat, it's not a, a nice mat, it's a dry mat, almost like they forgot to put a finish on it kind of a mat. It's very dry, so it'll be interesting to put this side by side with the the other one. The other one doesn't have a pretty box, but I think I like the other one better, but we'll see side by side. Next time I'll try to get the camera in a better position. So for now I'm just going to pick out an Ascension card for the day, and let's hope I get one that I haven't picked before, so let me see. See, I'm putting them all up here, mixing them up. Okay, I can't, I won't read three of them. If one comes out, I take that as the one, but if three of them are falling out, I just don't do that. Okay. Okay, let's see what we got here. Whoops. Uh oh, we've seen this one before, but not often. It says here, let me show it to you. Let me hold it up there. Uh, it's hard to find out where the camera is here. It says, Unification is best achieved through allowance. Find communion without bending another to your will. That is true mastery. <clears throat> so I'll read it again. Unification is best achieved through allowance. Find communion without bending another to your will. That is true mastery. Yes. Yeah, we have to allow everything. We don't have to agree with it, but we certainly have to allow people their preferred density. Well, that's it for today. I think I'll go, I think my, I'm smelling my rice. I think my brown rice is, is cooked. So I'm going to go have my lunch. I wish you all a wonderful day, a wonderful evening, a wonderful week, a wonderful year, and a wonderful life. Thank you for stopping by. And if you're prone to, please hit the like button. I don't know why, but everybody says it. There must be a reason. So take care, everyone. I love you so much. Have a, have a wonderful time today. Namaste.